Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and welcome to the class of circular permutations. Okay, circular permutations. So very important topic, a bit difficult to understand, right? So but we'll try to do do that, do those all tricky questions which will make your concept clear, right? So see, circular permutations, you need to understand one thing is symmetry, right? Symmetry is the most important thing is circular permutation. Okay. So symmetry cases because if I say if there are five people here or four people here, A, B, C, D, sitting at four places in a linear arrangement. You can simply say that four can be shuffled in four factorial ways, right? But due to symmetry, in circular permutation, you can't say that. If I put four people here, one, two, three, four, okay. Then you have to break the symmetry, right? At least breaking symmetry will be as easy as in this four sections, right? Or it, it will, will apply in very difficult questions also, right? So that breaking of symmetry is very important. Okay. How do we break symmetry in every cases? So same thing I can't do in circular permutation because due to symmetry, I can't say that A, B, C, D, right? All are arrangement same only, you know, A, B, C, D, or I see B, C, D, A. So in circular, there is no end actually, right? So everything looks same, like a cube. Right. So in cube, all six faces are same. So if you want to paint a cube, right, you can't paint it simply because all six faces are looking same. So you have to break the symmetry. So we will understand those things here. Okay. So if I have to break symmetry in this case, so if in a, on a circular table, I have to place four people here, one, two, three, and four. I have to place four people here, right, such that uh, they occupy these four places. There's a four chairs here. So I'll break the symmetry by putting any one people. So any like A, that first people is let's say A here. First guy is A. I'll place A on any one place. So this A can be placed in only one way, right? And now other three I can arrange. So around A, we have a fixed end now. I've, I've broken the symmetry now. There's no symmetrical case. Now I know that this is A. This is right of A, this is left of A. Earlier, if nobody was sitting, I can't say which is right, which is left. Huh. So now this is right of it, this is left of it. We have broken the symmetry. So once I place A here, so these three people can be placed in three factorial ways. Right? So this is, so for N, this is go, this goes for N people. So if there are N people in a circular table, right, we'll place any one, any one guy on any place in one way. And the rest N minus one can be arranged in N minus one factorial ways. Okay. So for N people, it is always n minus 1 factorial ways. So n people, n minus 1 factorial, fine. Now, now we see here. So like, observe the case of necklace. Okay, or necklace kind of thing where we can turn over things actually, right? So what is necklace actually? So if same thing is a necklace, this is not a table or it is a necklace actually. And we have four beads here, green. Uh, let's say I'm not placing it here, right? And we have four beads here, green colored bead, yellow colored bead, black colored bead, and uh, anyone, let's say wallet colored bead. Very bad colors I have chosen, right? It will, it will form a very bad necklace. <laughs> okay, no issue. So green, yellow, uh, blue, and wallet, or black and wallet, right? Let's, let's say there are four beads. So in how many ways I can arrange this uh, necklace and place the four beads here? So what will happen here is, again, same thing I'll do. Uh, this or four, all these four places look uh, absolutely same. So I'll place green in any one way or any one color. I'll place any, uh, at uh, at somewhere, right? So green can be placed in only one way. Now rest at the rest three places, I can place three beads in three factorial ways, right? But answer here is not six because necklace can be flipped over, right? Necklace can be turned over, right? So circular table, people sitting on table can't be turned over, huh? but necklace can be turned over, right? So the moment if I place like this, let's say this, this arrangement here, green, yellow, blue, and wallet. So you can see, right? If you see right now that, okay, the green is here to the right of green is yellow, then blue, then wallet. Okay. Green, yellow, blue, wallet. But at the next moment, I can just turn the necklace up. And if I turn it up, it becomes like this. Yellow will come to this, this side, right? That becomes like this. Green, yellow, blue, and wallet. So these two arrangements are absolutely same, right? These two arrangements are absolutely same, equivalent. These two are, right? 
So once these two are equivalent, that means what? For every case, whenever we have we have total six arrangements here, but total six arrangement in this six arrangement, this is counted twice, right? But this is only equal to one arrangement. That means six will become what? Six will become six by two total three ways only. Total three ways only, right? So you got the funda, huh? So the necklace necklace can be flipped over. That means. For every case, it will be counted twice because if one arrangement is green, violet, blue, yellow, that is same as green, yellow, blue, violet, right? So like this arrangement is counted twice, so that's why we divide by two. So make only three ways. So in the cases which can be flipped over, I'll make three ways. There are three ways for doing it. Okay, fine. So start with a few questions here. Okay. Now that symmetry part is very important. I'll try to break symmetry. That the, those kind of questions will do. Okay. This is the first question here. In how many ways the faces of Q can be painted? Sorry, Q can be painted. The faces of Q can be painted with. Six different colors, with six different colors. There is a question here, right? But let's try to understand this question now. So we have to paint the faces of a cube in six different colors, right? Now assume uh, visualize a cube actually. So what is cube? Absolutely identical, right? I can I can turn uh, turn cube like this. I can turn like this. I can turn like this. I can turn like this because all six faces are absolutely same, right? So it's a kind of symmetry there, right? It's a kind of symmetry, right? Means I I don't know from where to start actually, right? So if I keep a cube like this, I don't know because all the faces look same to me. If it's a same colored cube, so now I want to paint the faces of the cube, right? So if I want to paint the faces of of the cube, I have to break that symmetry actually, right? So how do you break that symmetry? So break that symmetry. So we can. Break this symmetry by what? Pick any one side, right, and paint it by one color. So let's say I pick any side of cube. So all sides of cube are identical. I can pick any one side in one way, right? And then let's paint it green. For example, let's paint it green, right? So now we have one we one uh, that I broke the symmetry of cube. I have one face painted as green. Ah. Huh. Now, if I if cube stands like this, right? There's a top bot top face and bottom face, and these four faces of cube are in circular arrangement. Okay, cube or cube void, both things, right? The four faces of cube are in circular arrangement. So this is top, this is bottom, this is these four are circular arrangement. So one paint one suppose bottom face I paint by green, then its opposite face I can paint in five ways, right? Because I have all of out of six colors. I've used one color here, right? So opposite face of cube can be painted in five ways, right? So let's say, so what has happened now? So if there's a cube here, right? If there's a cube here, so that bottom one I have painted green, this bottom one, okay? And the top one can be painted in five ways. Now these four side cubes stand for what? They stand for circular arrangement. Right, you can uh, you can see here, visualize here. Right, these four are like circular arrangement, no end here. Right, so what I can do? So I can simply now I have base painted, I have top painted, and I have to four colors. I have I have to I have to break four colors uh, by painting four sides of cube. That I can be done in how many ways? So for n factorial, for n people, n minus one factorial. So for uh, four uh, four uh, faces, it should be three factorial. So simply what is the answer? Into three factorial, so five into six. Answer would be, would be what? Answer would be thirty. Gets clear? I hope it is clear to all, right? So we have uh, six. Uh, this faces initially, so it is symmetry because all are looking looking same. So let's paint any one side. I can do it in only one way because all faces are same. After beginning symmetry, now cubes stand vertical. So this bottom and top and these four are what circular arrangement. Okay, so bottom in one way, right? That is first color. 
अपोजिट फेस इन फाइव वेज एंड देन सर्कुलर अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ फोर थिंग्स सो सर्कुलर अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ एन थिंग्स इज एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल तो सर्कुलर अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ फोर थिंग्स इज फोर माइनस वन दट इज थ्री फैक्टोरियल दट इज थर्टी इज द आंसर ओके Now let's change it to uh, breaking symmetry. Here. So let's say a, a good question again. Not good question. I should say it's tricky questions, right? Those are so clear concepts. All these questions, right? So suppose, in how many ways? In how many ways? We can arrange nine people. on a on an on an equilateral triangle table on an equilateral triangle table with three seats on each side three seats on each side right how many we can do so let's solve this here So with each seats or three seats on each side, that means basically what? So understand this right? Get this symmetry part here right again. I am focusing on symmetry because it's very important thing in circular arrangement permutations. So if we have three seats here, right? Three seats here, three seats here, and three seats here. Okay, just tell me right? This a person sitting here. Okay, so a person sitting here will get same view as the person sitting here. Right, You're getting it. The person sitting here, what is he? Right, that the opposite vertex is left. Ah, uh, just so you can uh, take any reference point. Like a person sitting here, so that opposite vertex is slightly left diagonal. Person sitting here, again the opposite vertex is, is vertex is slightly left diagonal. Right. Same way, the person sitting here, the opposite vertex is what slightly. Left diagonal. This is slightly left diagonal. Okay, slightly left towards. Ah, huh, there's a person sitting here, right? That means these three persons will have exactly same view here. Same with the person sitting here. The second person will exactly be in the middle, right? So it is same as this, and it is same as this person. And in same way, the person sitting here, ah, huh, will have same view as this person. Will have same view as this person, right? So what I'm trying to say is, in equilateral triangle, okay, the first person, if if there are nine people here, right? If there are nine people, so first person can have only three different seats to choose. Either number one, so number one all are same, or number two, number two all are same, or number three. So that first person can sit in three ways, right? On any of this of nine seats, the first person can sit in three ways. Right? Just visualize. Person sitting one will have same view. Person sitting two will have same view. Person sitting three. One and three are different. One and three are different because the corner of the table is at the right of this person, and the nearest nearest corner is at the right, and the nearest corner and farthest corner is at the left. For the persons at sit at three, the farthest corner is at right, and the nearest corner is at left. Right. These two are different seats. Right. Okay. So first person will have three seats to choose. And then the other eight persons. So now symmetry is broken now, right? So if one person sits, seats all can take the reference now. So there are eight persons; they can be seated in eight factorial ways. So what is the answer? Answer for this question is three into eight factorial. It's correct, right? Now just change this question a bit, right? And let's solve this question for isosceles triangle. So let's solve this question for isosceles triangle. Okay, so isosceles triangle table is there. On that, eight persons are sitting. Eight persons are sitting. Okay, and distribution is like three, three, and two seats. That means three on both equal sides, three each, and two on that. An equal side, right? That means basically, if I make this isosceles triangle here, right? If I make this table here, so let's say these three sides: one, two, three, one, two, three, and one and two. Now, I start thinking here, right? What is the case here? Let's say this is the first person sitting here. If first person sitting here, right? 
he will have different view as a second person this person these two persons will have different views actually because for first person it's like i am close to the left corner the second person is close to right corner these two are different seats okay fine now the person sitting here is person number 3 so he will have a different view from one and two obviously because he is sitting on the equal side person sitting here will again have a different view because he is sitting to, towards the uh, person in the middle right and person sitting here will have a different view obviously right because just imagine sit there and view so person sitting here will see that okay or a different view from 3 and 5 because for 3 left corner is nearest for 5 right corner is nearest now person sitting here now let's say this 6 now will this 5 and 6 be same no because for 5 right corner is same okay right for 5 right corner nearest for 6 left corner so 5 and 6 are different will this 6 and 3 be same no because for this 3 at 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 his left side there is a corner and there is only two people here while for 6 left side there are three people here right So this three and six are different. So again, if three and six are different, that means the seven also different here, and this eight is also different, right? So again, the six and eight can't be same because eight for eight right side will have only two persons, for sixth left uh, left side will have three persons here, right? That means this all are from if you sit in an isosceles triangle table, from all eight seats you'll get different view. No seats are symmetric. There is no symmetry here. So there is no symmetry. It's like linear one. There are eight people and eight seats, and how many ways you can arrange? Eight factorial. It is a trick, right? So it's a good question, huh? So all of you are thinking so much, right? So answer is what? Answer is eight factorial. Okay, so this is all about breaking symmetry, guys. Okay, we'll continue the circular permutation in the next video. Okay, thank you for watching.